Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and it's been a little while since I've done an unboxing video, and I thought since I got something kind of cool in the mail, I uh, should open it up for you guys. Now I don't have a tripod today, and well, I do have it, I just <laughs> I didn't want to set it up for this, so I'm sorry if you don't like the whole one-handed unboxing shaky cam kind of thing. I did do, do a bit of pre-opening to make sure that uh, no tape would get in our way, so... Hopefully everything should go smoothly. My my skin's not orange. I got <laughs> a weird lighting situation going on. Uh, but regardless, with that, let's go ahead and get started here. So the thing I got today, we actually have two. We, have, we actually have two things, uh, or two unboxings. I'm going to do one right now and one <sighs> probably pretty soon after. Um, but this right here, I've been wanting this for a while. Now, I did do some researching, some looking online, and it might not be as great as a lot of people say, uh, or as a lot of, it might not be as good as I'm thinking it will be from what people have said. Now, I kind of tend not to listen to reviews, and I like to look at things from my own perspectives. But the thing that I'm talking about is the Steam Controller. Yeah. So... A lot of people have been crapping on it saying, oh, you know, Valve had a good opportunity to make something really cool and really geared towards gamers. And they kind of fell flat, kind of. Some people really, really do like it. Some people really, really swear by it. But some people, or majority of people, say it's kind of eh. But I figure for 50 bucks, I was looking for a replacement controller for my PC anyway. I was kind of getting tired of constantly plugging in the USB cable from Xbox One now or from for my Xbox One controller. Now I'm sure I could you know, I could buy $25 or $24, however much it is dongle so I can connect Xbox One controllers to the PC and you know to ha have that and be set. But I kind of wanted something different. So we're going to try this. If it's garbage, I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video, but uh hopefully hopefully it's not terrible. So this is the packaging here. Now, if one thing I can compliment Valve on is they have a really consistent, and this other device that I have, it's very similar in terms of box design. Uh, and like I said, we'll get to that in a separate video. But it's a really, really nice, nicely designed and set up package along with this other device, which we will get to uh, next time. But from the front here, Steam Controller shows it, says what it is. Clean and simple, as well as the Steam logo there. Side has some information. The back of it, little blurb. We'll focus. There we go. Play your games from your couch. And that's what they're billing this as. They tried to, with this other device I'm going to look at, they tried to capture, besides using the Steam machines, they tried to capture the home gaming space, the living room gaming space. And it didn't really work. I mean, there are, there are some merits to it, and it, and it is cool, but it didn't probably go as well as they would have liked. Um, like I said, I'm going to take it from... A, I'm going to tell you guys what I think of it after you know some time with the controller and with the devices that I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to let you know what I think of it. Now, I'm a pretty avid PC gamer. I did grow up with consoles as my primary source of gaming, so I kind of... I, I kind of I'm like in the middle somewhere, so this device is probably aimed towards me more so than anything. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, with that, there's the bottom just showing you what it comes with and all that. So, with that in mind, let's open a bad boy up. And normally, there is tape on the bottom, which... Oh, cool, there's stuff on the inside. I can't... Eh. What is it? Hang on. Where are you? Oh, cool, it's like a blueprint. It's hard to tell, but... You can kind of see it. There's like blueprints of the device. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah, nice on you, Valve. That's really, really nice packaging there. And here... No! Curse you, tape! Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna open it up. Holy shit, what is it made out of? Hang on. Oh yeah, after using the dullest knife in the world to cut that, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh... Oh, that's cool. You gotta admit, it's actually a very nice looking controller. Let me give it a give it a hold here. Oh, 
That's a button. So, uh, both, both, both of these touch pads are actually buttons here. Analog stick is pretty nice. And now it does have some triggers on either side of the controller there. Oh, that's actually really cool. That's a button press there. I'm not sure if that's analog or digital. That's a button. <laughs> As a super clicky button. So they went with the uh, the Xbox ABXY configuration here. Pretty standard now for PC. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a actually a very nice. It feels really nice in the hand. You know, I could see myself liking this. Like I said, I will give a feed. I will give you guys feedback on what I actually think of it. Come whenever, um, but. It's not terrible. And the reason I held off on releasing a uh, Let's Take a Crack at for The Division is because I actually wanted to use this for preliminary video stuff as well as the full episode. I wanted to use this bad boy for that episode and maybe after that give you my thoughts on it. I don't know, but it feels... It feels nice. It doesn't feel terrible like I thought it might. And oh, there we go. We've got the USB dongle as well as... Some batteries. Duracell, you want to sponsor me? <laughs> oh, and we got some paperwork on the bottom, looks like. Get you guys out of the way. Boop. There we go. Oh. Whoa. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. Conversion, maybe? So that's micro to standard. Really? Why would you need that? Oh, that's kind of weird. Paperwork. Quick start guide. And then the product guide or product manual. So, oh, and then a lone USB cable on inside there. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I really am digging this product. It feels good in my hand, and I can give it that. It really does feel like a controller I would use pretty regularly. Um, and now the real question is long term. Would this be the controller I go back to time and time again when I'm playing an RTS like Warhammer 40K or when I'm playing something like <laughs> that up on my wall, Phantom Pain, you know, or something like that? Would it be a controller I use consistently? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But it, as of me sitting here with just one hand, clearly, it's not bad. It really is not that bad. And I don't know. I think... I think it's gonna turn out pretty well. Let me, oh, something stuff around. What am I doing? Other hand here. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might like it. I think I might like it. So, wait there, guys. That was the unboxing for the Steam controller. Again, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, this has been a little bit different style video than I have done for the past. Uh, actually, I think I've only done one unboxing video i recorded a couple but a lot of them didn't come out because i didn't like how they turned out but uh if you like just me doing these quick little unboxing videos let me know because i would like to do quick unboxing videos and give you something quickly as opposed to i guess nothing at all so yeah this has been the steam controller let me know what you thought have you used it have you not used it are you interested would you like to hear my final thoughts let me know so guys i've been hello japan this has been the unboxing for the steam controller and I'll see you guys next time. See you.